The photography and videography world thrives on anticipation, especially when it comes to Sony's Alpha series. Each generation carries a weight of expectation, as professionals and enthusiasts alike look forward to what the next model will bring. The upcoming Sony A7V has become one of the most talked about releases in recent memory, not only because of what it represents in terms of technology but also because of the challenges and context surrounding its arrival. Between shifting market conditions, tariff-driven price hikes, and evolving competition, the A7V isn't just another camera, it's a statement about where Sony is heading in the hybrid market. Sony has long been a dominant player in the full-frame mirrorless space, but it hasn't had an easy road lately. Over the past year, photographers have watched prices climb again and again, leaving many wondering if now is the right time to invest in new gear. While the excitement for the A7V is undeniable, buyers can't ignore the context of multiple price increases across bodies and lenses. With tariffs playing a major role, Sony's loyal base is now weighing whether cutting-edge performance is enough to justify higher costs. This sets the stage for one of the most fascinating product launches of the year. The A7V isn't arriving in a vacuum, it's arriving in a climate where cost, value, and capability are all being scrutinized like never before. And yet, the early leaks and rumors suggest Sony is aiming to deliver a carefully balanced package, a new sensor, meaningful performance improvements, refined ergonomics, and video features that rival higher-end cinema systems. Let's unpack everything we know so far about the Sony A7V, and why this might be the defining hybrid camera of 2025. The pricing story that shadows the A7V. Before diving into the specs and features, it's impossible to ignore the pricing drama that has unfolded in 2025. Sony has implemented three major price hikes in a single year, each one cutting deeper into the wallets of creators worldwide. The first increase, back in May, shocked many buyers with sudden jumps of up to 30% at retail. Then came another adjustment in July, with cameras and lenses climbing as much as 7% more. By September, the third wave hit, pushing certain products higher by up to 22%. For photographers already grappling with inflation and rising costs of living, these hikes have left a noticeable mark. What makes the situation even more complex?